What's up, AI fanatics? Oh man, do I have an absolute doozy to share with you all today. I'm talking groundbreaking, earth-shattering, mind-blowingly epic news from the world of artificial intelligence that's about to rock your socks off. Are you ready for this? Take a deep breath, because Anthropic just went ahead and dropped the mother of all next-generation AI model releases with Claude 3. This thing is an unholy beast, decimating every other AI assistant on the market by absolutely smashing all the major benchmarks and leaderboards. I'm talking surpassing titans like GPT-4, Anthropic's own Claude 2.1 model, and even Alphabet's recently launched Gemini 1.0 Ultra system. Those models don't just pale in comparison, they practically disintegrate in the wake of the sheer powerhouse that is Claude 3. We are talking a game-changing leap forward into uncharted territory, folks. Now before I go any further, let me lay out the Claude 3 landscape for you. Anthropic didn't just release one new AI model, they blessed us with an entire family of three radically advanced language models, Claude 3 Opus, Claude 3 Sonnet, and Claude 3 Haiku. Each one is tailored for different intelligence tiers and use cases, giving users and businesses unparalleled flexibility. But make no mistake, the crown jewel is Claude 3 Opus. This AI assistant is an actual freak of nature that redefines what we thought was possible with large language models. Let me hit you with some stats that will blow your hair back. On benchmarks evaluating undergraduate knowledge, graduate level reasoning, basic mathematics, and analysis of complex subject matter, Opus is effectively reaching near human level comprehension and fluency. I'm talking 96% accuracy on some of these tests. Opus straight up embarrassed every other AI system out there, surpassing GPT-4 scores while absolutely bulldozing Anthropic's own previous flagship model. We're talking setting a new standard for general intelligence capabilities that borders on the stuff of sci-fi fantasies just a few years ago. But you know what? The audacious innovations don't just stop a raw language understanding with Opus. Anthropic had to go and completely shake up the game by giving Claude three widely advanced multimodal capabilities that allow it to understand images, charts, graphs, diagrams, and all sorts of visual data formats at an elite level. In their demo, we saw Opus seamlessly analyze economic charts and graphs, accurately transcribe information and run statistical simulations without any direct data access, just by visually processing the content like a human. It could then dispatch subagents to work on related tasks in parallel while integrating all the analysis back into a unified multimedia report. I'm talking about an AI that can finally start perceiving and comprehending the rich multimedia world around us, not just text on a page. The implications for fields like healthcare, legal, scientific research, and data analytics are just staggering with technology like this. As if that wasn't enough, Anthropic also showed off Claude 3's absolutely blistering speed capabilities with the Haiku model. This budget-friendly flavor is the fastest and most cost-effective in its intelligence class, able to understand and respond to information-dense research papers with charts and visuals in under three seconds. Three seconds. That's insane. We're entering an era where AI assistants can provide human-like insights and query responses at basically real-time speeds. Imagine building silky smooth conversational experiences, near-instant information lookups, and frictionless automated workflows powered by an AI like Haiku. The user experience possibilities are mind-bending. Then you have the middle child, Claude 3 Sonnet, striking a perfect balance between elite intelligence rivaling opus and high-performance speeds while optimized for enterprise-grade scalability. It's the ideal model for large corporations looking to deploy AI across data processing, sales automation, forecasting, you name it. Now let's talk about some of the other critical areas where Claude 3 separates itself from the competition. Anthropic has made major strides in improving response accuracy and reducing those annoying, stubborn refusals that Claude was notorious for. Opus demonstrates a 2x improvement in correct answer rate on complex questions, while exhibiting far fewer incorrect hallucinations compared to Claude 2.1. It simply delivers more trustworthy outputs at a higher consistency. They've also cracked the code on incredibly robust long context memory, with the ability for Claude 3 to accept inputs exceeding 1 million tokens, while maintaining insane 99% plus recall accuracy in retrieval tests. We're entering an era where AI assistants can fluently track, reference, and analyze entire books worth of information flawlessly. It's absurd. And you know what else is absurd? The absolutely blistering pace at which the most cutting-edge AI models are eclipsing and dethroning each other lately. It was only a few months ago that Gemini's 1.0 Ultra took the crown as the new SOTA model, outperforming GPT-4. 
Now just weeks later, the mighty Gemini has been made a court jester by Claude III Opus. We are witnessing the technology accelerate at an exponential rate right before our very eyes. At this point, I won't even speculate on how long Opus will remain the reigning champion before another AI collective like OpenAI, DeepMind, Kahir or Anthropic themselves unleash their own Sota beast on the world. The state of AI has evolved into a relentless arms race of giants battling for supremacy every couple of months. It's incredible to watch as revolutionary breakthroughs become antiquated in the blink of an eye. Of course, with great power comes great responsibility and all that. No matter how singularly impressive Claude III of may be from a technical achievement standpoint, we have to discuss the ethical implications and potential risks of runaway AI development at this pace. But from everything I've seen, the Anthropic team prioritizes safety guardrails, and is consistently transparent about their principles for beneficial AI alignment with humanity's interests. And let's be real here. There will always be heated debates around the ramifications of rapidly advancing AI capabilities from the doom and gloomers. But at the end of the day, you either get with the program and embrace these technologies, or get left behind in the dust. The genie is infinitely out of the bottle, and the only way forward is to steer the AI revolution in an ethical, responsible direction that maximizes the positive world-changing potential. So am I concerned about a potential AI apocalypse scenario sparked by Claude III Opus becoming self-aware, and achieving irreversible recursive self-improvement that leads to an all-powerful superintelligent software dictator enslaving humanity? A. Not particularly, and not any more so than I was last year or next year. We'll cross that bridge of existential risk when we get there, folks. For now though, I'm just insanely hyped and in awe over the sheer magnitude of the innovations packed into the Claude III release. We're bearing witness to the exponential progression of artificial intelligence towards human-level abilities across multiple domains unfolding right before our very eyes. The Anthropic team deserves their flowers for setting an ambitious new SOTA benchmark that meaningfully pushes the limits of what we thought possible from large language models. As excited as I am to further test Claude 3's full capabilities, I'm even more excited to see the ingenious applications products and services that developers and businesses build by leveraging this widely advanced AI technology. The creative possibilities for Opus and the rest of this model family across fields like coding, research, data analysis, customer experience, you name it, they're practically limitless. One thing's for sure, the AI renaissance we're experiencing is accelerating at a pace we could have never imagined just years ago. And with Claude 3, it feels like we've taken a monumental leap towards having artificial intelligence intimately intertwined into every aspect of our multimedia world. The future of human AI symbiosis charges forward boldly. So strap in and embrace this wild frontier, people, because there's no telling where we'll be just a few months from now. But you can bet your bottom dollar that Anthropic and the AI juggernauts will keep astonishing us at every turn. Oh, and before I say goodbye. I want to remember that Alibaba's photo-to-video model is making waves in AI video generation. It is absolutely the best from what I've seen. Let me know your thoughts on this latest this model down in the comments. Whether you're inspired, excited, concerned, or maybe a combination of all of it, this is undoubtedly a watershed moment in AI history. So let's geek out together as we dive into the era of Claude 3 and beyond. Machine learning never rests, and neither will we. I'll catch you all in the next video.